Hi, my name is Tim Liu and I'm one of the admissions officers here at Phillips Academy Andover. Some of the most common questions that my colleagues and I receive are about part two of our application, which includes a graded writing sample, a short answer question, and the application essay. So I wanted to take some time today to share some information that might help as you work through this application. Regarding the graded writing sample, we do prefer if the writing sample is from a course in the humanities, such as ELA, English, social studies, or history, but this is not required. We're happy to accept a grading writing sample from any of your classes, as long as it's written in English. We know that sometimes students don't have access to a single document that has the submitted writing assignment with the grade and feedback attached. If you're able to figure out a solution to combine all that information into one file, for example, by piecing together separate screenshots of the assignment, grade, and feedback, that's great. It's completely all right if all that information doesn't come together as seamlessly as you'd like. If there's no way for you to get a graded writing assignment, don't worry. Ultimately, it's just another way for us to see more of your writing. And although we enjoy getting a better sense of what kinds of expectations teachers have had and what kind of feedback you've gotten in the past, we also understand that sometimes things are out of your control. If that's the case, just upload the assignment that you've submitted for class and we'll go from there. If we need anything more from you, we'll reach out directly. Now let's dig into the short answer and essay portions of the application. The first thing you'll notice is that for both of these, there are multiple prompts to choose from. We intentionally list several options because we know that one prompt might not resonate with all of our applicants. Please know that we don't have any preference for which prompt you choose. You should respond to whichever one you think will help us get to know you the most especially if there's anything that hasn't been highlighted as much as you'd like in the rest of the application. On a technical note, we're aware that the text box on the Gateway to Prep Schools website has a character limit, but the instructions we provide include a word limit. As a rule, always go with our instructions. So in this case, please make sure your essay and short answer response follow the word limit that we've set. If you've written an essay that you're proud of that's a few words over the limit, no worries, but try not to go overboard. Next, be sure to always keep your audience in mind. You're writing for us, the admissions team here at Andover, not texting your friend. That means that you should be writing to help us get to know you. We want to hear your voice and learn more about who you are. Make sure that you're intentional with your language and remember that common acronyms in your life might not mean anything to us here in Andover. There's not one particular format that we want your essay to follow in terms of how many paragraphs it should be or how you should structure it, but it's absolutely the case that sharing concrete examples and experiences are helpful for us to get a better sense of who you are. If you'd like us to know about a personal quality of yours, sharing a story that allows us to see this quality is much more effective and much more interesting than just telling us directly. After you've finished a draft of your essay, don't forget to take time to revise it. Asking a few simple questions can go a long way towards strengthening your essay. Have I responded to the prompt? What does this essay tell the admissions team about me? Does the essay convey this message clearly without straying off topic? Are there parts of the essay that need elaboration or are unclear? It may be difficult for you to answer these questions because after all, you already know what you're trying to convey and will have that context in mind whenever you read your essay. For that reason, it can be helpful to read your essay out loud or have a trusted person read over your essay with these questions in mind. During the editing process, be wary of simply taking language that others suggest and adding it directly to your essay. Remember, we want to hear your voice, and copy-pasting suggestions from others might take away from the authenticity of your work. In many cases, it's more effective to consider how you might achieve the same effect using your own language. And that's it! I know that writing the short answer and application essay can seem daunting at first, 
but it can also be a great exercise in learning more about yourself. For me and my colleagues here in the admission office, it's our favorite part of the application because it really helps shine a light on who you are. Good luck finishing your application. We can't wait to learn more about you.